Following France's presidency of the European Union, it's now the turn of the Czech Republic. It's a crucial time for Europe in the grip of an economic downturn and amid continuing debate over the ratification of the Treaty of Lisbon. The Czech Republic gave a mixed message on its intentions with a 30-second commercial that has sparked a number of debates. Showing prominent people from the worlds of sports, science and the arts eating sugar cubes, it carried the slogan, we're going to sweeten Europe. But a second colloquial meaning is we're going to slow Europe down. The director of New York University in Prague says this double meaning is significant. This ambivalent message really reflects the attitude of uh, Mr. Topolanek's party. He uh, only represents in this message what his party represents. That is, yes, somehow we are interested in uh, further European integration, but at the same time we want to give you as much trouble as possible. We should speak with a clear language. We are supposed to provide leadership. And instead of providing leadership, we are providing this yes and no, even in this message. ODS, the Civic Democratic Party, the Czech Republic's leading party, is in turmoil, having lost last October's regional elections. Those in power are divided between the Eurosceptics and those more open to Europe. During the December ODS Congress, a power struggle developed between Pavel Bem, a protégé of Eurosceptic President Václav Klaus, and Prime Minister Mirek Topolanek, supporter of the Treaty of Lisbon. I hope we will be able in the first uh, part of uh, maybe January, February uh, next year to ratify. But uh, it's not only my problem, I am not, uh, uh, not a man against this ratification. But my party has a little bit problem with this uh, Lisbon Treaty and uh, uh, maybe this uh, party congress will, will show uh, to everybody what's the position of this party in parliament and we will see. Mirek Topolanek was re-elected with a large majority, but he has not succeeded in convincing his party on the Treaty of Lisbon. Jan Zaradil is a member of the European Parliament with ODS, a strong Eurosceptic. He says the treaty means a loss of sovereignty for the Czech Republic. Lisbon Treaty, uh, however, it is a compromise treaty, uh, includes certain parts that are not very favourable for countries like the Czech Republic and other uh, mid-sized countries. The change of the voting system, uh, the, uh, the, the, the multi multiplicity of voting power for Germany, France and other big nations, while uh, on the other hand we are losing our voting power uh, together with further shift of uh, competences from uh, national level up to European level means that in fact after the Lisbon Treaty is ratified, the Czech Republic in fact will lose in compare with the current status quo, will lose certain influence and, and certain possibility uh, to, to have an influence on decision-making processes in the EU. MEP Zuzana Reutova is a member of the Czech Republic's Christian Democratic Union, part of the European People's Party. She is opposed to moves by Conservatives to create a new anti-federalist movement after elections next June. Je to trochu hra se slovy, protože nejde o antifederalismus, protože k němu Evropa ještě It's a bit of a game with words, because it's not anti-federalism, because Europe isn't heading towards federalism yet. It's about the creation of a Eurosceptic group, and it's a green light for the campaign for the European Parliament to highlight its Eurosceptic position on Europe. Unfortunately, there's a rule in European politics that those who show opposition get more support from voters and are usually more successful than those who describe what they did and what they want to do to improve the life and functioning of the European Union. Konstruktivně co udělali a co chtějí dál udělat proto, aby se nám lépe v Evropské unii fungovalo a žilo. Founder of the ODS in 1993, Czech President Václav Klaus announced during the party congress that he was resigning the honorary presidency of the party. He is in open conflict with Mirek Topolanek on the ratification of the Treaty of Lisbon. He has made it known that he would block the process, particularly by delaying the signing of the treaty. Václav Klaus received representatives of the European Parliament in the Presidential Palace at the beginning of December. It was an opportunity for Daniel Cohn-Bendit, the co-president of the European Green Party, to draw parallels between the Czech president and the Irish opponents of the Treaty of Lisbon. This irritated Václav Klaus, nearly causing a diplomatic incident.
uh, Con Bendit is a strong personality and certainly uh, he saw his opportunity to get back at President Klaus. It turned out that President Klaus is not at all ready for that kind of discussion, that he is willing only to express his views but not to take any criticism. And I think that he has to get used to the fact that now during the Czech presidency he will be exposed to that kind of criticism much more often. And if he is not willing to take it, then he will be simply ignored. French President Nicolas Sarkozy, in his address at the end of his country's EU presidency, was critical of the Czech president. It can be respected. I understand it perfectly. But frankly, for Europeans here, we are hurt. When we see that all the European flags had been removed from the public buildings of the great country that is the Czech Republic, we do not treat the EU presidents, nor the president of the European Parliament thus, nor the symbols of Europe. That shouldn't happen and it mustn't happen, whatever one's political commitment. Following the example of Václav Klaus, Communist MEP Vladimir Remek also rejects the Treaty of Lisbon, but for different reasons. I have some reservations. I feel it has democratic shortcomings. I feel that it's a very complicated document. For example, in the Czech Republic, the opinion polls say that 80% of the population doesn't know what's in it, what it's about. I'm personally, as is the Communist Party, on other similar issues, in favour of having a referendum on a simpler document, which would give a basis for a legal personality of the EU and would be adopted by the people in a referendum. The Czech Parliament have put back the debate on the Treaty of Lisbon until February the 3rd, something which worries Socialist MEP Libor Ruciek. The Czech Social Democrats, we wanted to proceed with the ratification a long time ago because we are aware of the fact that the country that presides the EU should have ratified the treaty a long time before it takes up the presidency. It didn't happen because of the, because of the, the, the ruling ODS. In spite of that, no matter when there will be ratification in the parliament, we will support the treaty because it's good for the Czech Republic, it's good for Europe, we need the Lisbon Treaty. Doubts remain about the ability of the Czech Republic government to effectively assume the EU presidency for the next six months. Whatever happens, the ratification of the Treaty of Lisbon remains one of its key issues.